What is going on YouTube? X Serena here with a Master Duel video. We're looking at the brand new update. I guess you could say it's the anniversary. I think it's the anniversary update of Master Duel. We're gonna be doing the Duel Links one tomorrow because the I think it's the it starts at I don't know when it starts, but I know there's gonna be downtime tonight, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So first we have the new selection pack, Heroic Warriors. New archetypes are available. Either Therion, which focuses equipping yourself before battle, Libromancer, which combines the strength of your monsters on your field with powerful ritual summons. Be on the lookout for new and powerful warrior type cards for the heroic archetype, which commands Xyz summons, and the Vendred archetype, and the Vendred archetype, which excels at ritual summoning beyond the grave. And also there's Symphonics. So. The cards included in here, I sadly I don't have enough for an opening, but I'm not really interested in this, these cards. <laughs> I don't really care for them. Maybe Therion I could go for. So we have... We have Avengered Savior, their Link Monster. I didn't even know they had a Link Monster. And he has an ass. Goddamn. Um, Heroic Champion. Clave is so Soulish? I guess that's how you say it? <laughs> Libromancer Doom Broker, the new Libromancer archetype. In Master Duel, because I don't think it's been in here before. Another one of their rituals. I think I have this card IRL. And the Therion archetype, which is it equips it equips onto I think a machine monster. And if your opponent activates anything, it's an Omni to get you can send one one monster card from your hand or face up to your field from the graveyard that to negate. It's a um, it's a very good Omni negate. It was actually pretty decent in the TCG until people realized how bricky it was. I heard it was like 80, maybe I think like oh, over a hundred at release. So, but no, the price dropped very, very low. So yeah. After that, we have heroics and then the symphonic archetype, which is pens, and these just look like rock stars from what it looks like. The Symphonics look very low rarity, to be honest. So yeah, after that we have the Anniversary, I guess you call it, set. Recollection of the Story, which is just the solo mode ones. So yeah, so we have like B-Trooper, Gear, Gear Gigas, Ghost Tricks, Sharanui, Gladi Glads, uh, Gem Knight, Stream here, which is one of the worst ones. Heralds, uh, I think this is Orcus, yes, yeah, Orcus. Crusadia, Digital Bugs, ew, those are bad too. Judgment Dragon for Light Swarms and all that. Now, we're on to the new Secret Pack. Which is, uh, they added some new cards. Now, this isn't new, but it's an update to it. And it's also shown on the front page, so yeah. So yeah, it's going to be on the front page until February 13th. So yeah, I'd make sure to get it before then, because I'm thinking about building Bath Mech. I love that deck in the TCG, and I think it's going to be very good in Master Duel. So, the card... I'm, I clicked on the wrong thing, but the feature cards are obviously Kagari, which is now at 2. The new Sky Striker card, Hamp, which I don't even think Sky Strikers play. Math Mech Circular... Which is a very, very, very good card for Math Mech. Don't get me started on how good this card is. It helps out the deck a ton. And Sky Striker, Sky Striker Mobilize Linkage. Which basically, I think it makes your Sky Strikers OTK, pretty much. And then the other one, last one is Aleron. Eh, nobody plays, no, no Sky Striker deck plays this card. So yeah, that's it of that part. Now we have the new accessories, which is not that the new Dewfield Mutant Evolution, just for the mutant archetype. I think one of my friends played it. Uh, I have oh, very bad memories against that deck. It says a field laboratory design to analyze creatures that have come from the outer reaches of space, the mutant incubators, the network of bulging pipes, and the fluids spilling out over the bottom of the field suggest that some rather apparent research is occurring here so yeah we're gonna play a bit of the solo mode too in this video and after that the new protectors which is the Therion King Regulus so now we're gonna get into the new solo mode which is for a mutant 
I think it's Ruby. I, I'm pretty sure it is. New gate options are available. So let me go all the way down. Mutant mutation. Researchers have discovered the mysterious creatures from outer space called mutant. As the mysteries of their biology unravel, they continue to evolve with both speed and diversity. It is quite possible that this creature has already grown past humanity's ability to control it. Okay, and that's I think that's their new fusion monster. Well, that's new to Master Duel, I'm pretty sure. So we have two scenarios where we're obviously going to go through both. Normally I skip these, but for the YouTube purposes, I'm not, and I'm going to read it out. So here we go. Mutant Mutation. Many mysteries fill the universe and the unknown with the powers they possess. Some Marvel... Sometimes... I'm going to mess up. I already know I'm going to mess this up, guys. Sorry. Sometimes marveled and feared as a miracle or magic. Humanity has embarked on an insatiable quest for knowledge and, and with science and technology have revealed many secrets. But the mysteries of this world never cease. And one of the new mysteries come crashing down to this planet. Falling ex extraterrestrial object observe. Available personnel must head to the predicted fall site and investigate an identified object. Roger, we're heading over now. The identified object that fell in the field. Could this be the first contact with another planet? To unravel this enigmatic entity, experts in various fields from around the world co-evened. Not long after, the investigation team covered the site with a temporary dome and began the observation of the object. Is this part of the eye? It has rigged parts that are hard as steel and soft parts that feel like human organs. Although there are different this is a material that is likely to be organic matter. Can this be considered a sentient being? As time passed and various in investigations have been made, this object, this creature, was found to have strange properties not found on this planet. By unraveling the ecology of this organism, they may gain some new insight about it. It's humans called this the humans called the object mutant and established a specialized research institute called Mutant Evolution Lab. There, they proceed with their investigations. Alright. Wow, okay. That's crazy, actually. Oh, why would you go for a uh, random thing you see? And, ah, yes, we're just gonna go and mess with it now. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna touch it. Uh, American thing, I guess. So, now we're gonna go into the second scenario. At Mutant Evolution Lab, various studies are being conducted day and night in order to make precise observations. The first breakthrough came when they succeeded in culturing the mutant with the advance in analysis of biological structures. Now they manage multiple mutants cultured from the first specimen. In this way, various mutants were created by humans. While there have, while there have individual differences, clarification of their shared properties, characteristics, Cedra was put in progress. Look, they're moving as if they are responding to each other. Is it the mutants' method of communicating with one another? So far, the dialogue between mutants and humans have not been established. But the way mutants seemingly react with each other through senses, sensitization was observed many times during their experiments. In order to unravel the biology of this organism, they will take every possible measure and repeat the trial. Currently, the Institute's most notable discovery about the characteristic of the mutant is evolution. In the course of the research, mutants were exposed to various organisms and substances. There are many instances that yielded no response. Some, however, caused a, a reflexive behavior that caused them to rapidly evolve. In the most recent case, it happened when it came in contact with a crystal impregnated with dense energy. It had absorbed the crystal and its body surface hardened. It even displayed a state of overdrive, amplifying and releasing the captured energy. The Institute's defense system managed to quell it, but if evolution continues, the possibility of the situation getting out of hand cannot be ruled out. Some researchers have complained about the dangers of the research. If another major reflective reaction incur occurs again, there, it is, there is no certainty that we can control this organism. 
We should stop the research now. If we go any longer, our research could destroy humanity. But, but the one, uh, but, but the one unravel the hu hidden mysteries and to know everything about the creature drowned those voices and the study was continued. However, no one could have suspected the danger that was about to become a reality shortly after. Okay, sorry about me messing up reading that. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna talk about me messing up reading all that. <laughs> it's sounded really weird to me. I don't know why. So yeah, now we're just gonna do the practice. And I think that's gonna be it of the video. So this is supposed to teach us, I guess, the ins and outs of a mutant. I've played against the deck. I don't know what it does though. Ooh, that field center looking nice though. What makes a mutant deck unique? Level 4 lower mutant monsters such as Mutant MO5 have the effect of tributing themselves and banishing cards of a determined type monster spell or trap from the hand or elsewhere to special summon a corresponding level 8 mutant monster. Special summoning mutants in response to the opponent's tactics will clear you will bring you closer to victory. So we have the M MO5 and ST46. Okay. Draw phase. Draw. Doro. Alright, we got the GB88. Try summoning SC46. So, normal summon 46. Act uh, effect, activate the fusion. You go. You go Shokan into. Banish. From your hand and special summon you and beast from your deck. I don't know why it keeps responding when I press with. A different key. So yeah. Effect. Vanish that. Supposed to summon a mutant beast. Now you have mutant monsters with different attributes on your field and in your hand. And have a fusion and fusion summon synthesis. Okay, you go Shokan into the synthesis. Ooh, okay. I don't know why it's a water monster. It looks like a dark or a fire, but the animation isn't that bad. It's kind of fire. Fusion summon successful. Now activate synthesis and pop their monster. Effect. Pop. Oh, I clicked on wrong thing. Pop. Now battle phase. I've told it's been like some sort of a f some sort of cool effect that happens when you win. Let's see. Yo! Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. I'm thinking on getting it then. I know I lose a lot, so I'm going to see it a lot. So, anyways, that has been another Master Duel video going over the brand new Massive Master Duel update. We're going to be going over the Duel Links update tomorrow, all the leaks and all that. Hopefully, there will be a lot of leaks. But anyways, guys, it has been X Arena, and I'm out. Follow the Twitter, subscribe to me so like the video join the discord we do weekly master duel and dueling tournaments which we're gonna get back on hopefully by next week so yeah, anyways guys it has been x arena and i'm out see ya peace